Lauren, can you believe last game? It's, um, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Such a short season, 10 weeks. So, you know, um, we're really looking forward to playing our last game at Alberton. It's so nice to be uh, playing a home game here. And from what I'm, what I'm told, it's almost a sellout. So be encouraging all of our, all of our supporters and Port Adelaide community to get down here and sort your tickets pretty quickly so you, so you don't miss this last one for you season one. You talk about wanting to win every game, but yeah. there's sort of this extra emphasis that you want to finish the season on a high note. Every game for me has extra emphasis. We're, we're really keen to continue showing the brand of footy that we have this year and, and go out with, um, you know, continuing to build on a bit more consistency, but really showing that Port Adelaide brand of footy that we have this season. What would it mean for you to go out on a win? Honestly, I, I, want, I would love to see reward for effort for our players. Um, none of this is about me. It's really not. Um, I think our players have just put so much in that in such a short period of time. We've got five, five who are finishing school this week. Um, I'm really, really proud of those gr that group of players in particular. But, yeah, for our whole team, I'd love to see reward for effort. Do you think results this year and you standing on the ladder have re reflected where the teams are? Or is it an unfair reflection to say what I've made to one of them? Seven and a half. <laughs> one, one, and seven. Uh, we th we think on our internal measures, we're we're going a fair bit better than that. At the the cold harder day says we're not um, on the ladder. Uh, we do think you know playing nine games, there's five to six there that we legitimately could have won, perhaps with more experience and in you know a few more games time, we we think we win those games, but you know, in the moment in time we lost those games and that's kind of how it is and that's what we have to look at. <laughs> we do feel we're going, we're going better than 1-1-7 one, one and seven for nine games. Needing more experience then, is that a thing that you can bring internally with another off-season together or is that a sort of a mission you, you need to go out and maybe get one or two more um, if you can? Oh, I think there's a mix of both. I think the off-season presents some really great opportunity for the group that we have. We're really excited about that. Are you going to go into the off-season with kind of a recruiting plan in mind? Uh, right now, really focused on Sunday, yeah. You're a defender short what, yeah. and a pretty good defender. So yeah. what are you going to do back there? Have you I think through that yet? Yeah, obviously Alex Ballard in her first season at W has made some enormous steps forward um, coming out as a SANFL player out of Sturt uh, who was overlooked in her draft year. So... Yeah, I'd be disappointed to miss Alex Ballard this weekend, but it creates opportunity for, for another player and um, I'm sure whoever that is will take that opportunity. It's been fun to watch the way that the crowd's invested. Yeah. In hour and hour. What, what were your expectations at the start of the year? Yeah, I can remember my first press conference when I got this job and I was asked about Never Tear Us Apart and uh, the first showdown and you look back now and you say that's all, all occurred and Never Tear Us Apart every single time. Is, yeah, it's made me quite emotional to be really honest and... Um, it's such a special moment for all of our people, men's and women's home games, every game we play. And yeah, I can't wait again for Sunday to see that. It's, um, yeah, it's, there's nothing like it in the competition. And yeah, I feel really grateful to be in my position where I get to experience that every home game. Well, it seems to be a trend that <coughs> opposition teams like to put extra numbers back. <laughs> is, is that something you can exploit or is it becoming hard to do with at the moment? Yeah, it's an interesting one, Rich. I think men's and women's, a lot of teams like to play numbers behind the footy. I think um, you've watched all of our games. You'll see my philosophy is I like one-on-one -on -one footy. Um, and I think a big part of that is with our young group, the more we teach them to win one-on-one -on -one and contest, the better we'll be in the future. Um, yeah, look, we, we look at the way teams play every single week. We look to try and exploit different p bits and pieces and we also like to look at how we can exploit our, our strengths as well. How emotional is it going to be that this is the last time this group is together for a weekend? I just look at it as an opportunity, yeah. Another opportunity for another week together. Um, it's our last formal training session as a group tonight. There's a little bit of emotion in there, but there's also really excitement and opportunity. Just to backtrack to last week, it, you looked at that Houghton goal or Northern goal and thought I about it. I haven't spent a lot of time on it, to be really honest, Rooch. It's out of my control and... You have to trust the umpires to do their job, don't you? But is that the next step for AFLW to have appropriate score review on match day <laughs> rather than wait on the Monday when it doesn't matter anymore? <laughs> I think there's a whole range of things. Um, and within my control as senior coach at Port Adelaide, there's so many other things I can control that I'll put time and effort into. Can you um, treat this way? Can you sort of build it up for the players and go, hey, 
it's our last game. Let's <laughs> treat it as a final. You never know, we might be there next year. Let, let's do everything in that, in that way. I build up every game. Yeah, in a 10-round season, every game is, is just as important as the next. Yeah.